YouTube, how's it going? This is G Man Beavis. Just thought I'd do a uh, little quick review of uh, some other pistols that I have. Uh, this is uh, about double action Colt revolvers, the snake guns that they do not make anymore, which is a mistake on Colt's part. <laughs> but, uh, anyways, uh, I have three. I have uh, this is the uh, 357 Colt Detective, and it's the Magnum carry. It's got the trigger insert on it. It's a little wider. Uh, don't worry, everything here is unloaded. Um, I just don't think that there's ever been a smoother revolver made. I mean, Smith comes close with their, you know, their 629s and 686s and stuff like that but there's just never been one that's that's smoother and I even this little snub nose fits me amazingly I mean it's and I, I'm I am not a little guy and uh, it's it's wonderful and it's got some bark to it when you put the 357s in it just it's pretty dang going nice if you shoot just a 38 but uh, shooting the 357s it's got a little bit of bark to it and uh, also have the King Cobra 357 six inch barrel this one is the uh, high polished finish uh, they've all got their all three of them have their stock grips on them but uh, this one this one is the King Cobra I don't know if you can see it right there on the barrel but uh, this this is one of the slickest shooting I mean uh, of all this is this is the this is the cream of the crop right here next to the python but it takes a professional to even know the difference in the feel and the way they shoot between the king cover and the python the python's also chambered in 357 but um, we had some hand loads made up for this gun with the 158 grain hornady xdps and was shooting three and three and four inch groups you know Shooting like this, or better, at 50 yards. 50 yards. That's that's pretty daggone good for a 357 mag. Uh, and they were hitting. They were hitting like that all day long. It was just you know. Well, that's the difference between factories and hand loads. But uh, we also load for this one. This is the six-inch Colt Anaconda 44 mag. And uh, yeah, they're. Like I said, they're all empty. Uh, this one is the brushed stainless finished, I believe. It's not as uh, fancy schmancy looking as the uh, King Cobra. This one is the same finish as the Magnum Carry. They have the, the same brushed look to them. It just goes to show you the difference right there. And uh, you might be able to see that on the barrel. Cold Anaconda, 44 Magnum. Uh, this is this is a blast to shoot right here. It's and it, 44 mags aren't that bad. I mean, yeah, they got a little bit of a little bit of a bark. You know, you can't be a big sissy trying to shoot them. In, you know, some city slicker. But uh, you can shoot 44 specials in them too. You know, and they're they're real sweet. Um, but that's that's about it. We did have the uh, Colt Anaconda 45 Long Colt with the uh, eight and three eighths barrel, and you talk about that's that's the next sweetest thing as far as revolvers go that I've ever shot next to that King Cobra. But uh, then we got rid of that one before they quit making them back in the late 90s. I can't remember when it was 90, 97. 97 or 98, I think, is when they quit making them. And you can't, I know for a fact, you can't touch this one, the Magnum Carry. I, I know for a fact you can't touch it. I've looked, I've looked it up several times, and this goes for at least 1500 bucks now. And they were $400 brand new back when they were making them. So was the King Cobra, about 450 bucks. Anaconda was right there with them. And, uh, I, I, I've never 
like I said, I've never felt better revolvers in my life ever. They're they're precision. I mean, when you when you cock the hammer back, you, everything's just so crisp and so flawless, and they they fit so well to to just about anybody. These two, these two actually right here, they're not mine. They're my mother's. Back when they made them. Dad said, go pick you out whatever you want, babe. She went right here. Cold King Cobra 357 Mag. She went and bought the most expensive thing in the case, which was only 450 bucks back then. <laughs> but, uh, yeah, those two are my mother's and the, the Anaconda's dad's. They'll, they'll all be mine someday, so I claim them. But, uh, anyways, that's all I wanted to share with you guys. Rate, subscribe. Whatever, I'll be putting a bunch of videos on here. By the way, I'm sorry for the terrible quality. Uh, this is an old laptop. It's not that great. It's uh, really a piece of junk. My phone takes better video than this thing does. But uh, bear with me. One of these days, I'll get me a camera if I can come off some of that moldy money. Uh, definitely be doing some more gun reviews, maybe some reloading reviews, stuff like that. Um, yeah, just check, check back in on my channel. Um, have a good day, y'all.